Hello friends, in the previous video we proved that set of real numbers is uncountable. There we assumed two lemmas. Now we are going to prove one of the lemma today. That is any subset of a countable set is a countable set. Okay, let's look at the statement once more. It says that any subset of a countable set is countable. Okay, let's begin the proof. Now, let A be the countable set. Okay, now if A is a finite set, then any subset of A is also a finite set. Hence, in that case, any subset of A is going to be a countable set only because a finite set is countable. Okay, now in the next case, when A is infinite, then if any subset of A is going to be a finite set, then that subset is going to be a countable set. Okay, these cases are trivial. Now the case we are looking here is of an infinite subset of A. The set A is infinite and we are looking at an infinite subset of A. So our statement can also be said as any infinite subset of an infinite countable set is countable. So here A is the infinite countable set or in another words we call it as countably infinite set right. So A is the countably infinite set. Let B be any arbitrary infinite subset of the set A. So B is a subset of A and A is countable. That's all we know. Here, since A is countable, there exists a bijection function F from set of natural numbers to set A. Now, F from N to A is a bijection means that F from A to N is also a bijection. Okay. Now, F from A to N is a bijection means that F from A to N is also an injection. Okay, now since B is subset of A, there exists an injection function F dash from set B to set A. Where each element belonging to the set B is mapped to itself. Because every element belonging to B is also belonging to the set A because B is subset of A. So that's an injection function. Now let's look at these functions marked 1 and 2. So here these two functions are injection functions. So F from set A to set of natural numbers and f dash from set b to set a they both are injections okay now which implies that there is an injection from set b to set n so let g be the injection function from set b to set of natural numbers okay and let g of b is the set s so g of b denotes the range of the function g right so let that uh, range of the function g be the set s so obviously set s is a subset of n because codomain is the set of natural numbers okay now since g is injective and b is infinite we get that s is also an infinite set so s is an infinite set s is the range of the function g also s is subset of natural numbers so now we can write the set s as s1 s2 s3 and so on where s1 is nothing but the minimum of s meaning that the least element in the set S. We know because of the well-ordering principle that any, any non-empty subset of the set of positive integers has a least element. So we have a least element that is guaranteed. So let's take S1 as the minimum of that set. Now S2 as the second minimum, S3 as the third minimum and so on. So in this way, we write the set S. So meaning that we can list the elements of set S in a sequence which implies that the set S is countably infinite. Set S is nothing but the range of the function G. So S is countably infinite. That's we get. Now look at the function G dash from set B to set S defined by G dash of X equal to G of X for all X belonging to B. S is nothing but G of B. S is the range of the function G. Now G dash from set B to set S defined this way like g dash of x equal to g of x for all x belong to b is nothing but a bijection here because g of b is s now since it's a bijection we get that cardinality of b is same as cardinality of s we already know that s is a countable set that we have proved now we also get that b is countable from this so we get that b is a countable set Hence, any arbitrary infinite subset you take of a countable set, it is going to be a countable set. Now, since here we have proved that an arbitrary infinite subset of a countable set is countable, we get using universal generalization that any subset of a countable set is countable.